Okay, so please lie on your back and if it's comfortable for you, lengthen your legs, lengthen your arms along the side of you. That's it, yeah. And if it's not comfortable for you, for example, if you have a sensitivity on your back, please feel free to bend your knees anytime you want to. Right. Yeah. Being a restful and a calm in your nervous system is the better situation for our learning. Right. So it's not just to be nice to yourself for you to, uh, for us to create something new, new patterns in ourselves, the less discomfort, the better. Okay. And just notice how you give yourself your weight to the ground. Okay. Where do you feel firm contact? And where do you feel a little maybe tension or a little holding? Just first, you don't have to do anything. Just notice that. Kind of scan of your contact, back of yourself, back of your legs. Right? And maybe also on your jaw, or your tongue in your mouth, right? your throat. That might be the area you feel a little holding. Oh, could you soften around your mouth, maybe around your eyes, maybe your hands and the fingers? And notice your breathing as you feel your contact on the floor. And see where you feel your breath moving you. Do you feel more in your chest? Do you feel more in your abdomen? Oh, hi, Karin. Hi. Um, good. Yes, good morning. We just starting. Yeah, okay. so just lying on your back and just okay. scanning yourself. Great. As you know, you've been Yeah, here. my, my um, computer mm -hmm. wouldn't let me in. Yeah, so. I know lots going on in technologically. Mm -hmm. I feel you. Yeah, thank you. Good. I'm glad you made it. Yeah, me too. All right. Good. Okay. And actually, now, could you intentionally... You don't have to move, but intentionally, internally, could you tense a little bit and release, right? For example, if you find a tense, tense in your shoulders or your back, kind of slight, very small amount, not forcing anything. Just think of just a little tensor and then release it. See if that brings your awareness more. Does that make it easier for you to soften just a little bit? Maybe it's not, it's more like a imagination thinking. Good. And then come back to sensing your abdomen. Okay. See there, could you stay soft there with your breathing? Allow your lower abdomen to expand and then flatten. Yeah, okay, good. And now, Shift your awareness once again. Sense your lower back area, that your belt line. Right? Is there contact there or slight space there? Right. And then below that, the back of your pelvis. Right? The middle is a sacrum area. Sense that contact. And then the pelvis on the right side, left side. It's one side feel more on the floor than the other. 
And feel your two legs, right leg, left leg, feel that contact. Okay. Hi, Karen. We are still Hi. sensing. Hi. Sorry. I'm you, yeah, I'm glad you made it. Okay. Yeah. I had a visitor. I understand. Yeah. So could you uh, angle down your computer a little more? Okay. Good. Okay. Now we we'll meet you. Right. And now the after sensing your waist area, lower back area once again, now come up to the middle, middle back. Could you sense the back of your ribs? Right side, left side. And upper back, including your shoulder, shoulder brace. Feel that contact, right side, left side. Feel the back of your head, back of your skull on the floor. Feel that contact. Yeah. Yeah. What's that weight like? If you, you don't have to do this, but if you think of slightly lifting your head, for example, what's that work like? Yeah, what's your sensible weight? How much work it takes? Just enough like a sliding out the paper behind your back, behind your head, sorry, on the floor, right? Yeah. Good, and then come back to the floor if you are moving. Yeah, sometimes just thinking of it enough to sense the effort, right? And then your arms, feel your right arm and the left arm. Right. What's the length like and then the feels? Yeah, the it's one arm feels more softer, relaxed, longer. The one, yeah. Okay. Okay. And now come back to sensing your lower back. The noticing that contact there. And very slowly. Bend your leg, bend your knees, one after the other, and listen to what happened to the contact of your lower back. Right. So now your legs are bent, knees are bent, yeah, and the feet are standing flat on the floor. And now listen to the contact of your back, back of your pelvis, the waistline, the lower back, and then your middle back. Back of your ribs and the shoulders, upper back. Right? And keep listening to that spot right on your whole back of your torso. Once again, slowly low, uh, lengthen your legs and then notice how that changes the contact of your back. Uh, as a more flat, more or more space, right. it's a defined contact, yeah, okay. Once again, listening to the contact of your, especially lower back area, slowly bend your knees, bring your feet to standing. Good. And this and that, yeah, notice the, any difference there again. And now listen to your breathing as well. Is that, how's your lower abdomen now? Is it softer? It's a little more bearable. Okay. And once again, Please come, uh, lengthen your legs slowly. And this time keep your legs longer. And please make a small movement of bringing the right side of your pelvis little forward. Forward meaning toward the ceiling. Yeah, in relation to the space, right? And then return. Just notice how you do that. 
bring your right side of pelvis slightly forward because it's in relation to yourself. If you are standing, right, your pelvis forward is meaning toward the, the, your nose is pointing, right? And then just right side. Yeah, it's a small movement. Just notice how much work it takes and how that feels. And then come back to the floor, right? Yeah, so you don't have to stay there. Yeah, so listen to how much effort it takes to start the movement. And very slowly, gently, and notice your left side now. As you do that, what happened to the left side? Because left side has to kind of go back toward the floor, right? As your right side come forward. That's it. Good. And pause for a moment. And now please bend your knees again. Bring your feet to standing. And if it's comfortable for you, please cross your left leg over your right leg at the knee. If that's not comfortable, you can put your legs together. Yeah, closer to each other, right? Ideally, bringing your left leg closer to the right leg. Yeah. So left knee over right knee. So let me check. Um, yeah, and if it's, com that's right. So it's kind of knee over knee, like you are sitting on the chair. That's it. Great. Yeah. And now slowly, gently begin to lower the legs toward the left. Yeah, take your both knees slowly to the left and then come back. That's it. And try not to go to the maximum at this moment. Yeah, just small amount. Go slow. Right, go slowly till and then return to the middle, feeling your feet, how your foot changes the contact on the floor. And then come back so that you can change your mind any moment. It's not just throwing your knees, right? You change your mind, then you can smoothly come back. Gently number of times. Yeah. And then maybe each time, if it's really easy for you, slowly go further. But listen to how your pelvis roll to the left. What do you sense in your lower back? If there is any discomfort, you don't have to go there. If you go slowly, gently, so that give yourself more time, your whole self begin to learn this movement, right? Then there is more time to soften, lengthen, and it becomes easier. Yeah, less strain. Feel how your lumbar spine begin to turn and there's a little twist there. What's happening in your chest, your rib cage? Can you tell how far this turning speaking to your spine? Right? Is that going to between your shoulder blade? And for you to sense that movement doesn't have to be actually big. You can keep making smaller movement and then you can increase your sensing that spine, how your spine turning, speaking to the almost to the base of your neck. Okay, good. And come back in the middle. <clears throat> And slowly uncross your legs and lengthen your legs and then rest. Please bend your knees again. Bring your feet to standing. 
please cross your left leg once again same leg left leg over right and come back to taking your knees slowly to the left a couple of times and see how far easily you can go without increasing the effort notice your breathing as you do that okay good and eventually see um, find a place that you can keep your legs to the left where it's comfortable so it's not the maximum too stretchy but see if you find a place you can stay your legs to the left and then start with your both arms along the side of you so near your torso unless that's uncomfortable yeah. and keep your legs down to the left as far as you are comfortably keep there and could you please raise your right shoulder little forward and then return yeah that's it yeah raise your right shoulder number of times gently and then your right palm is down toward the floor so right arm is still resting on the floor, just right shoulder, right corner of your torso, that's it. And notice just that much that will allow your knee slightly goes to a little more to the left. Yeah, so it's a subtle relationship, notice that. Is it possible to just allow your left leg to go to the left? Or maybe your pattern is actually coming back your legs to the middle. Yeah. Okay, how about that? <clears throat> Could you, in the, so please intentionally do the, bring, as you bring your right shoulder a little forward, also bring your knees to the, little to the middle, right? So that's a beautiful pattern, right? As you bring your, so to start with your left, knees are to the left, right? And as you lift your right shoulder, your knees also come back to the middle, right? That's a be beautiful combination, kind of using your abdomen. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Now rest your right shoulder on the floor and then slowly take your knees to the left. Stay with your le knees to the left. Now very slowly, gently begin to lift your right shoulder so that your knees are stay quiet or if anything it's actually roll more to the left yeah some of you that's a new pattern yeah and then return your shoulder back to the middle right see if that available to you. that's right yeah you can always micro adjust how far you want to, your knees to be right listen to your comfort but now you are quietly lifting your right shoulder so that knee goes to the left if yeah, that's it yeah and as you do that see if you can allow your breathing to be somehow quiet and easy that's it. The soft breathing in the background. And as you do that, what is happening in your ribs? What sense the contact of your ribs on the back? Yeah. And then your breastbone sternum is also turning a little. Notice that how your chest is changing the shape. Okay, good. Please pause with the movement. Slowly bring your knees back in the middle and uncross your legs and lengthen your legs. And then rest. Yeah. This is another peculiar thing about Feldenkrais. We take a rest a lot in the between time. It doesn't seem like we've been doing too much of a you know, vigorous movement, but this resting time is, um, it's like a software download. You're updating right now. 
because you're moving, you've been moving with your awareness. So there's a lots of uh, new information is accumulated in the background. So your brain is making connection right now, the new connections. For example, right now, what the sense of your shape, right? what's the length of your right leg, left set leg, right? contact of your right side of you, like from the right leg to the hip, hip to the right shoulder, and the left side. Right? By any chance, one side feels longer, more on the floor, flat on the floor. And then even if you don't feel the difference right now, your brain is, it's happening, so. But just bringing that awareness, that question to yourself, right, that increase the learning. Okay, please bend your knees. Once again, same way, cross your left leg over right. Bring your legs comfortably down to the left and let them stay there. And this time, please raise your right hand off the floor and reaching toward the ceilings. So your right arm is standing, that's right, hand of fingers more or less pointing toward the ceiling and gently reach with your legs and your arm, hands toward the ceiling and then come back. Return to the position. Yeah. So right arm can stay standing toward the ceiling, right? And then right, yeah, hands is pointing toward the ceiling and lengthen your arm as if you're reaching toward the ceiling. You want to poke the ceiling and then return and notice how that affect your legs, right? And there's a balance, there's a interesting balance and the ease you want to find here. So go gentle number of times and how that makes it easier for you, how that connects yourself. And it's interesting, it's diagonally from your right shoulder to your left hip to the legs. Yeah, what happens? Notice what happens across your chest and the pelvis. Does the reaching of your arms influence your legs in any way? Right. And now change the direction of you, your reaching. So lower your hands a little bit. So reach towards your left knee. And breathing is available, right? As you reach gently and then come back. Yeah, notice what you sense in your sternum, your breastbone and your ribs. And how about now more to the left, like a crossing over your left, left side of your chest or your ribs, right? More to the left, that, that angle, reaching that way, how that changes. What you sense in your ribs, the contact of your back, How that influence your pelvis? Okay, good. And leave it. Slowly lower your arm, uncross your leg. No rush here, okay? And then slowly lengthen your legs and then rest.
And please bend your knees again. Cross your right, uh, sorry, left leg over right. One more time, the same position. Left leg over right. Yeah. And take your both knees to the left. Find a place that you can comfortably stay there. Crossing is not comfortable. Yeah, you can always put your knee together and then tilt to the left. Yeah, stay there. Okay. And then to start with your arms along the side of you. <clears throat> this time, very slowly begin to slide your right arm to the side. It's like a, uh, making a snow angel a little bit. So slide to the right and then come over to the direction of your over your shoulder and over your head. So your arm is sweeping around you, right arm, and then come uh, on the floor. Yeah, start from the on the floor, right? Staying, so snow angel style, right? Of course, listen to your comfort, right? And then, yeah, and then some of you, maybe how about this? Could you keep right arm bring to the, your shoulder height? How about that? To start with shoulder height to the side, right? Like uh, your, yeah, your arms extended from the shoulder side, shoulder heights, yeah? And begin to slide your hand over towards your head and then eventually possibly to the left of your head, right? So, sorry, some of you, I didn't warn you in the beginning. You might need a space over your head a little. So you might need to slide down a little bit, right? So as much as, yeah. That's it. So, Karen, lower your arm, go slower, and just experiment. You don't have to go all the way to the upper over your he head. Let's say, let's just start from the shoulder height, diagonally, right? Diagonally up. So, it's arm is on the on on the floor. Arm is on the floor, like you are making snow angel. And then some of you, all the way to the head, might be a little too strenuous for your shoulder, then just slide your arm diagonally, right? Like a sup, um, position of a superman, right? But just right arm, right? Yeah, and then come back, right? Now, as you do that, you can allow your knees to move. So notice as you that there's a moment that your legs want to slide more uh, or tilt more to the left. Your pelvis begin to tilt low, yes. So we, what we are looking for is just a connection through the middle of you. Exactly, right? And then you can play with it. You can bring your arm closer to yourself. That's totally fine, right? So we are looking for, as you slide the arm like that, how that connects through your torso, right? In an interesting way in the diagonal because the weight is putting you to the left with your legs. So your pelvis low, your ribs slide to the left and changes the contact of your back. Yeah. So it's just, this is a situation to feel how this moving of your, of your arm changes the contact of your back. Right? How this connect through your chest, through your ribs, to your pelvis, to your legs, right? Yeah, and then some of you playing with, yeah, then naturally your head is rolling, maybe that's another element. We can play with that too, so, yeah. You don't have to hold your head in, the, that's it, yeah. And then those of you who bring your arms over your head is not comfortable, then you can play with from your shoulder heights, maybe downward towards your hip. That already changes, right? And then that's it. And some of you who are easy to go over your head, even to the left, right? And then that's interesting, right? That's, it's the change is a constant. It's not just rolling to the left. There's a moment that it come closer more of your back on the floor and then leaves the floor. And if you're breathing, it's easy and free. You could go soft and gentle. You will feel your leaves begin to accommodate more and more. So once your arms go over your head, you can also slide, come down, right? So that you feel the change of your contact. 
Okay, so now next time your arm is down closer to you, leave it and slowly uncross your legs, lengthen your legs and then rest. And just before you, we go to the other side, just um, notice any difference right now, how your right side feels to you, the length, maybe direction, one side feels uh, more straighter than the other. And then very beginning of a movement, I ask you to bring your right hip little forward. So see how that feels. Now, with your legs straight, lengthen, right? And then bring your right hip just a little forward and then see how that feels. Yeah, it's a little easier than before. Yeah. Good. And then come back in the middle. And we, this one we did not check in the very beginning, but um, lower your head little to one side to the other side and see if you feel any difference there. Good. Come back in the middle. Okay. And please bend your knees. This time, cross your right leg over left. Take your both knees to slowly to the right. Yeah, and then return gently number of times. By the way, I forgot to mention you take a rest anytime you want to. You can just override my instruction. Yeah. If the movement becomes uh, automatic, it's a good time to take a break, right? Take a rest and then, so that each movement can be new experience for you, right? So slowly take your knees to the right, come back. Also feeling how your left foot changes the contact on the floor. And then go slow so that notice how your pelvis begin to roll, how your lower back come along. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. How your ribs begin to roll to the right. Yeah. And then if that this side is not most comfortable side, you can imagine it, right? Because you already learned from the other side. So as you bring your knees to the right, yeah. You can imagine how would that affect your pelvis, the ribs, your lumbar spine, and then the thoracic spine, right? How your chest begin to roll to the right. That's it. Softening around your jaw. Okay. Good. And then see, find the spine place that your legs can stay to the right, knees to the right, right? And then your arms along the side of you. So knees to the right, comfortable spot, and begin to lift just your right shoulder, a tiny movement, just right top corner of your torso. Lift toward the ceiling and then return. Notice how that Oh, sorry, I said the right, yeah, okay. Come back, sorry, to the left shoulder. That's right, yeah, right shoulder is interesting, yeah? That's an interesting experiment as well. But your knees to the right, so left shoulder forward, and return, that's it, yeah? And notice how that relate to your knees to the right. right. Is that encourage your knees goes more to the right? or it's actually coming back and the both pattern is available, right? It's possible and that's the amazing thing about human brain, yeah, right? Yeah, so you can play with it. How about if your legs are naturally going to the right right now, you can switch to, as you bring your left shoulder forward, could you also bring your right knee in the middle of it? Right? So they were coming together, right? So that's a beautiful kind of abdominal, there's a contraction work there, 
right? There is a maybe core strengths can use there. And then in contrast to that, now allow your belly to stay soft. Of course, there is some engagement, some work there, but less work in there so that as your left shoulder come up, your knees naturally tilt to more to the right, even though it's a small amount. Right? So that's the your natural length of yourself. And then if you can allow your abdomen to stay soft, it's actually then it's more available to also get strongly contract. Right? It's like an elastic. It's, it needs a time to softer so that you can strongly contract when it's needed. Okay, good. And come back in the middle. Please uncross your legs and then rest. And if you are resting with your legs long, you might feel already your shape is different. So just for fun of it, if it's okay with you, you can lengthen your legs. It's just easier to compare. Of course, you can compare, you know, keeping your legs bent, right? And notice the length of your right leg, left leg, contact of your right side, left side. Is it already, has it beginning to, um, become more equal, closer to each other. And please bend your knees again. Bring your feet to standing. Cross your right leg over left. And taking, uh, taking your knees to the right. Comfortable, find a comfortable place to stay to the right. Lengthen your left arm toward the ceiling. So point your left arm, hand toward the ceiling. Yeah, so your right, uh, so left arm is standing perpendicular to the floor. Yeah, finger pointing toward the ceiling at this moment. That's it, yeah. Finger pointing toward the ceiling, that's it. And then begin to reach with your hands toward the ceiling. Uh, and then you can start small movement. Notice how that affect your legs to the right. Uh, once you kind of get familiar with it, you can really reach. And notice, would you turn your head to the left or would you turn your head to the right? Uh, so, yeah, which feels easier for you, right? And the balls again, good options both ways available right so there is no one light way of doing this if anything we want to have more options that's it so your left arm is standing on the floor so left fingers are pointing toward the ceiling that's it yeah for now yeah we will change it later but right now pointing toward the ceiling and notice how the effect right yeah, so in the left arm is all, whole arm is long. Yeah, your whole arm is long, your elbow is straight. And then pointing, the whole arm is pointing toward the ceiling. So left arm is standing, left shoulder is standing, left arm is long, pointing toward the ceiling. So you will see that your hand is in front of you. Karen, yeah, exactly, that's it, that's it. Yeah, then you're reaching toward the ceiling. Yeah, that's it. Okay, good. Rest your arm and uh, rest your legs and cross your legs. And then rest any way you like. So other option is if you're uh, lying on the back for a long time, it's not comfortable, you can always rest on the side as well. You can roll to a side and then rest. That's another resting position.
And please bend your knees again. Cross your right leg over left. Take your both knees to the right. And this time, raise your left hand and begin to reach towards your right knee. Yeah, and gently number of times. You don't have to touch it. That's not the point. It's just the direction, yeah? Gently towards your right knee and see how that's affect the, is that lower your pelvis more. How your chest changes and then your ribs has to soften. So notice the what contact more in your left side. Left side of your knee, oh, sorry, right side. Right side, you press more to the floor. Left side, have to kind of change the shape. That's right, toward the knee. Good, okay. And then begin to play with the direction of your left hand. So start with the right knee, but more to the right, slowly, small increment, right? Your right, left hand goes to more to the right, each time like a, um, the hand of the clock, right? Maybe it's gonna start with, I don't know, eight o'clock and then nine o'clock and, right? Or seven o'clock, right? Yeah, so your left arm is still in front of you, still starting pointing towards your right knee. Right, and then more to the right, more to the right. That's it, yes, yeah. And then lengthening, so you're reaching and then come back. So you will feel how the your left side of the shoulder and then chest changes shape, left side of the ribs is moving. Nice, yeah, that's it. Yeah, 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 all the way to reaching, yeah. So yeah, you can lower your shoulder, notice how your right side come closer to the floor. Nice, yeah, keep breathing. Good, and leave it. Slowly come back in the middle with your legs, gently lengthen, rest your legs and rest your arms. Please bend your knees. Once again, please cross your right leg over left. Okay, and start from your arms along the side of you. Now begin to slide your right arm, right hand to the side and then eventually in the direction of your overhead, like kind of doing a snow angel, yeah? So you're doing the wings there, but slide upward and come back and just go slow and just small increment and the way it's comfortable. You don't have to go all the way up at all. We are just enjoying finding out how that affect the tilting of your legs to the right, how that affect the contact of your back. And then certain moment, if you start from the palm down, your left hand palm down. Okay, so some of you, yeah. So it's a sliding your left arm. That's it, yeah. Some moment your arm have to turn so that the back of your hand slide on the floor, right? That's it, yeah. Then just find a place that easy to move. Uh-huh. Richard, you okay? Okay, yeah. And then, yeah, the mm -hmm, headrest sometimes, you know, gets in the way, but you, you want to work with it, you might need to slide, yeah, that's it. Yeah, and how your arm go over the direction of your head. Notice how that tilt your pelvis differently. Nice, yeah, and 
once you kind of get the hang of it, make it familiar with it, begin to make it more harmonious, more even graceful, comfortable, e uh, enjoyable movement for you. So your arms goes up towards your head and then also return. Right? So right, it's yeah, go over your head and then also sliding back so that you feel the change as you move, how your back contact, how your chest move, how your ribs begin to roll, your chest rolling more to the side. Right? Listen to the comfort of your shoulder. Huh? Okay. And next time your arm is back along the side of you, pause, bring your knees back and cross your legs and slowly lengthen and then rest. And the final scan of yourself. How are you different? Anything different? from the very beginning when you sense yourself on the floor. Where do you sense your breathing now? What do you sense in your abdomen, in your ribs, in your chest? Gently roll your head, little to one side, to the other side, very slowly. Notice that ease. Is it once again different from the, the last time you roll your head? Right. Return to the middle. And please bend your knees. And slowly roll to one side and come to sitting and take your time, no rush, and come to standing eventually. And stay with kind of sensing of yourself, the mood of your class, yeah, your work, and then just notice yourself standing. How weight goes through you how your carriage of your head, right? What do you sense in your shoulders, in your chest? How is your breathing in the standing? And you can walk around when you are ready slowly. Sometimes it feels a little unstable or dizzy even, right? Because we are rewiring our brain. So don't worry about it, go slow, gentle. And that's a sign actually something new is happening. Yeah. And thank you, this is the end of a class itself, but I always um, curious to your experience. So if you could give me, so let me stop the recording first. Yeah, so that, okay.